Well, hello. I think we're ready, right, Josh? Good, good, good. Well, hello and welcome everyone joining us live. We are so happy that you found the link. Josh, thank you for posting the link. I can't and, believe uh, I posted the wrong link. <laughs> we got through an entire yeah. summit without any mistakes in any of the links. I didn't have to resend any you emails. Are forgiven. And then, of course, <laughs> the very last one. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure people will find their way here anyway. So welcome to everybody joining us live and welcome if you are watching the replay as well. Feel free to take screenshots as we go and share them on social media. And we have a hashtag that we have been sharing with everyone. And do we have the hashtag to show everyone on the screen? Yes, it's coming up. But the hashtag you may remember is hashtag enough one NT. So hashtag and then the number, uh, uh, sorry, I-N-N-O-V, the number one, and then NT. Uh, for now, because of, oh, there it is. Thank you, Josh. So for now, uh, because of the way this is set up, you will only see the two of us um, on the screen. Well, there are some um, special guests coming on later, but <laughs> that's coming later. So I just wanted to say what an incredible three days. And just before we started the session, this closing call, um, I was checking out the chat on YouTube. And Josh, maybe you also saw that, that people are saying, I can't believe the summit is almost over. And believe me when I say, I can't believe it either. And it's been an amazing three days. Every day, Josh and I would get together and see how many people had signed up. And we had over 3,500 people sign up for the summit. And as someone was saying earlier in the last spotlight session of the day, it's people from all across the globe. So actually, I have something to share with you. And I'm going to show you here um, the map. Have If you have put your, your little pen on the map, you, um, and let me shut off my video here so you can see it more clearly. This is what the map, the summit map looks like on Google Earth. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So all those little points, the blue dots that you see there, um, these are people who have left their um, little pin on the map. And these are people from all over the world who have joined us for these amazing um, summit. So I'm going to stop sharing that now, but just wanted to say that anybody who wants to have a look at that, just go to the summit map. And if you click on the view on Google Earth, you will able you will be able to see what I just showed you. So and maybe if in you the chat, added your pin, you can still do so. Exactly, it's still open for those who haven't done it. And in the chat, maybe you can tell us uh, where you are joining us from. And I'm trying to get visibility here of the chat now, but let us know where are you joining us from. And. Um, well, I've, I see at least one person joining from Peru. Hello, Milagros, who's joining oh, us wow. from Lima. And uh, <laughs> there's a tiny bit of a delay, so I'm sure we'll see all of the other answers. Yes, they will start showing. A second. And it's just amazing the different places that people have been joining us from. So uh, what are we going to do during this closing call? And I see someone asking on YouTube if there is a link for the Zoom call. And uh, no, there isn't. This is just being live streamed on YouTube. So All what right. is this? So I uh, we're... Oh, there. Yeah. Dive in and tell you. Taiwan, it must be the middle of the night in Taiwan. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Barcelona, Poland, Lebanon, Geneva, Oregon, Frankfurt, Rome, uh, California, Germany, Guatemala, Brussels, Cameroon. Wow, lots of different places. It's great to have colleagues from all over the globe with us. Amazing. So what we're going to do in the next 30-ish minutes together is talk about how you can make the most of what you learned, how you can stay in touch with colleagues, a little bit about what's up next, because at Tech Forward, we never stop. We've got lots of fun things planned. Uh, how you can make the most of the Power Pack if you have the Power Pack, then we'll announce the winners of our prize drawing, and we have some special surprises at the end. Can you please, uh, any questions you have, any comments you have, keep them coming in the chat. So what about this year's summit? This year's summit, we uh, our, our tagline was join thousands of colleagues, learn useful skills, 
rethink approaches and rediscover the human side of interpreting. And I think we really did a good job of that. We had a lot of talks that talked about all sorts of human aspects of interpreting and how you can continue to innovate, whether that's negotiating with clients, uh, setting fees or aspiring to higher fees, showing up, standing out. We really enjoyed all of those talks and we hope that you did too. And in fact, you can tell us in the chat what your favorite presentation was. Now we had three days. The first day was on remote interpreting. The second was on the human side of interpreting. And the third was on new frontiers in interpreting. And I'm saying was, but the third one's not over yet. So you still have more time. This was also the third edition of our summit. We're always trying to make every year better than the last. And this year, I think the big innovation were the spotlight sessions. I don't know about you, but there were hundreds of people at the sessions that I ran, and I really enjoyed those conversations with colleagues. All right, I'm moving my mic up. I see several people have said something about it. Um, and yes, I will even turn my volume up. Hang on. Microphone, audio, input. All right, it's louder. You should be able to hear me more now. Okay, so um, we also had a game night and I think that was a lot of fun too. I saw the photos from that one. Nora and I were discussing uh, timing on that event and maybe next time we'll find a time that works uh, for even more colleagues to join, but we're always trying to improve. Now, right now we'd like to ask you if you could reflect on one key takeaway from the summit. And we're going to do this in a slightly different way. We'd love it if you could just go to this Slido room. It's very easy. We're putting a link in the chat, but you can also just grab your phone, snap a photo of the QR code you see right there, and type in one word, one key takeaway from the summit. And as your uh, words are coming in, we will see them all popping up on the screen. Oh, but first I have to make it live. Let me fix that. <laughs> um, let's see. All right, going on in and the poll is live. All right, and here come the responses. We can't wait to see what your takeaways are. And Ola, I love your comments. Spotlight sessions should be three hours long, and that wouldn't be long enough either. All right, so technology, first response, loving it. Stress management, that's a great one. Soulmates, cool. More confidence, yes. Community, gratitude, resilience. Co-working, that's great. I know some of you joined us for the very first time co-working. You never managed to do it before. Uh, Ting Han was saying that, and it's great that you were able to join. And, and now there are too many words for me to possibly read them all. So I will just let you take them in. Nora, which one strikes you as most interesting? I really like um, confidence. And I see that a lot of people are probably typing that because it's um, more prominently displayed there in networking. Because I should tell everybody, Josh, that those are two things that we kept in mind all the time while planning the summit. We wanted to make it interactive. We didn't want this to be an event where you would just sit behind a computer and watch a presentation. We wanted to have that um, interaction. And I think that shows that we were able to achieve that. Wonderful. Well, um, it's, and I, I just yes. see. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. So amazing. I love all of the words that are so much about the human side of interpreting. Resilience, not having limits, managing your stress, being a kind person, and remembering we're all in this together as well. So wonderful. Let's... I'll leave the poll up if you want, and you can keep answering, and we'll post some the final version in the community for you later. So let's now move on, and Nora's just going to talk a little bit about the Power Pack for those of you who have it and how you can make the most of it. 
Yes, thank you, Josh. And well, let me start by saying that um, I had, well, you know how we have those love notes at the bottom of the presentations? Well, today I got a love note on my presentation on how to record voiceovers that really made me realize how valuable the power pack really is. Because someone said, I didn't have the power pack, but after watching this presentation, I decided to get it because I want to go back to it as often as, as I need to and rewatch it again. And there are so many presentations that are worth watching more than once that those of you who already have the power pack, I hope you can take advantage of that. And, um, you know, it's something that's going to keep paying off for a really long time because it gives you the time to make the most of it. And um, Josh was saying yesterday, I think it was during one of the networking sessions, how he loves the podcast. And so, you know, just being able to take in all that content in different ways by, you know, watching on your tablet or your computer or listening to the podcast, that's just very, very valuable. And just to give you a guided tour of the power pack and what's included in it, of course, you have all the presentations, you have the worksheets, you have the transcripts. Um, if there are any slides that the speakers provided, there are slides in um, for each of the talks. And then the podcast. So if you like podcasts, that's going to be amazing. Um, the Ask the Expert session, which we had today and which was you know, so rich with information. It was wonderful. And there are some great bonuses, like there is Tech Forward credit from Josh for 25 euros. There is a free month in Tech Forward's Insiders, a free month in Sophie's Consecutive Club. That is wonderful. Ola's book, Ola is, I saw Ola is in the closing call. And you really need to get Ola's book, which is called Look at the title. I love that. PM alert, crouching PM, hidden interpreter. And that is just an amazing resource to learn how to interact better with your project managers and just make the right connection there. So if you already have the power pack, please tell us which resource is your favorite so far. You can let us know there in the chat. And um, well, you know, during our, our opening Call. Well, we didn't have actually have an opening call, but we recorded a video and we recommended that you only attended three or four sessions a day. And uh, we know that some people try to watch all seven or six for the day on the free ticket, but that's really intense. I got messages from people saying that they were watching our automations talk on day one, Josh, and they were rewinding and replaying the bits. So that doesn't leave you enough time to watch it, um, you know, as, as you would like. So if you don't have the power pack yet, and you're still considering it, it is still going to be available for a limited time um, to be purchased. And Josh will tell you until when a little later. So you can rewatch those presentations, work on the worksheets and so on. And um, I love this thing that Josh always says, work on one skill or tool and then another, another, another and another. So slowly but surely, you will be building up your skills. And um, so we have the, are we going to show the link to get the power pack? I've already put to... it in the chat. So oh, it's in the chat. Thank it's you. in That's... the chat. So people have it. I'll just jump yeah. in very briefly and just share a few final things about the power pack. Uh, first of all, for those of you who have it, the link to get your certificate of participation is now live. As you know, this is uh, a certificate for up to 10 hours of professional development credit. It's already pre-approved by the ATA, so that counts for ATA CP CEPs. And for ATA members, you need to have watched the things during the time the summit is ongoing, but you still have time because the summit doesn't end until tomorrow, so that's fine. Uh, and for everyone else, you can also get a certificate which you can use for your professional development. Uh, you just go here, you get one credit for each spotlight session and half a credit for each presentation that you've attended. You click to request your certificate and you fill in the form, easy peasy. I'll also mention a few other things. This year, we really wanted to keep the power pack accessible. So it's just 99 euros. We also have a payment plan, two times 50 euros, and we have financial aid available, and we have a scholarship. Uh, we gave student scholarships, but if you didn't win one of the student scholarships, you can always get a 50% student discount on 
all Tech Forward courses and on the Power Pack, just drop us an email and you uh, get 50% off. Just send us your proof of enrollment. So uh, that's everything I wanted to say about that. And now it's time to talk about the community and staying- oh, Before, before oh. you do it, Josh, I was keeping an eye on the chat here and people are sharing the most amazing things about the Power Pack and how they were busy with assignments, couldn't attend. So they got the Power Pack to be, um, Carol is saying that's what she's going to be doing over the next few weeks. Some presentations are really eye-opening. Also in the Power Pack team, says Anna, <laughs> the Power Pack rules. And so, yes, 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 I love um, the things that people love is that they can watch the videos at their own pace. They can rewatch anything they want. They can go back to the presentations if they need to. So, yes, wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. So let me tell you about the community. For me, the community is one of my absolute favorite parts of the summit, getting to interact with you both in the live events and in all of the community spaces. Look how many conversations we've had over the course of the last three days. And I, I was talking about this with a, a colleague, how many people have been liking and commenting on all of the presentations. And this is just the, the lounge space. Uh, we also have all three of the days and the conversations there. And I'll just point out, we have the exhibition hall. There are some special offers from our sponsors. We'll talk about them when we talk about the prizes, but as a little reminder, those special offers, some of them are only valid for another week or two. So if you've been looking to pick up a tool, we got you a special discount for those as well. And our huge thanks go out to the sponsors who help to make this summit possible because as you can imagine, it's a lot of work and a lot of time. Um, we also have the FAQ space right over here. And if you're wondering how you stay in touch with somebody, we've got uh, a message right here about how to send private messages to other summit attendees. So you can just follow those instructions and reach out to them easily. You just search for their name. I'll search for Nora. And then you can see she'll pop up right there as a person. And then I can click on her and just click the little message button to send her a message. So of course, stay in touch on LinkedIn, stay in touch in other places, but feel free to use the community for this as well. The community spaces will be available until March 24th, so two weeks from today. And then after that, we're going to archive the summit space but that you may have noticed that's not the only space in the community platform. We also have all of the stuff for the Tech Forward Lounge, which is where we have ongoing conversations about these types of topics. Uh, anything related to the exploration I'm doing or other members are doing, testing out different tools. I did this really cool test of Notion recently, uh, talking about uh, questions like the ethics of AI tools, looking for language swaps, and lots more. So this is really my favorite little home base. Oh, this was fun. I was talking about my travel setup when on the road. Everybody who has ever purchased a Tech Forward course has access to the Tech Forward Lounge. That includes everyone who has the Power Pack, plus everyone who's ever gotten a course, plus everyone who's about to win one during the prize draw, and everyone who won one during the bingo game. So you'll all get an invitation next week to join us in the Tech Forward Lounge and to keep these fun conversations going. Uh, and the other space that we have over here is the Tech Forward insiders space. And I'm really, really proud of this community. It's a place where every single month I'm being encouraged by the 200 plus incredible colleagues to explore stuff like AI powered preparation, automations, automated note taking, terminology extraction, dictionary apps, email signatures, branding, and tons more. But I thought instead of me talking about the insiders community, I would ask a few of the insiders to come and tell you about their favorite parts of the community. So we are joined by four special guests today. 
you'll recognize a couple of them because a couple of them were speakers at this summit. Go ahead and turn on your cameras, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. And we also, uh, so the three people you see on the screen, Michael, Carmelo, and Zoe were speakers, but we've also invited our student scholarship winner from last year's Innovation in Interpreting Summit, Mena, to join. Mena, feel free to turn on your camera. And I'm just going to ask you if you could briefly uh, talk about your experience in the Insiders. Ah, yes, Mena, I turned your camera off a minute ago. I have to turn it back on. Okay, Nora and I are going to turn our cameras off and we will let you uh, have a little chat. Um, Zoe, you're first. Right. Um, so I'm a tech for insider as well, and I really love the community. I first learned about the summit when I was a student, and I decided to join Tech Forward after graduation, and I became a speaker for the uh, last summit and for this one. So I think I've really grown a lot with the community because of all the encouragement and the support and I received, especially from Josh. And the one thing that I really love about this community is the challenges that Josh put together. So we had LinkedIn challenge, branding challenge, and I think there's an email signature one, which I find really, really helpful to look professional when you send out to email. And the best thing is that you are not doing this alone. Sometimes we think it's a bit difficult to revamp our LinkedIn page and we procrastinate. But with a community, you are doing it with other people and they give you feedback and they also give you accountability. So you are definitely get stuff done. May I? So as I said in a comment that I shared uh, with Josh, the best of the Tech Forward uh, insiders and event like this uh, summit is to see a community where empathy, solidarity, and collaboration are present at all times, and there's no room for selfishness. I think these and previous events have been a great opportunity to share and to learn from so many generous and savvy colleagues. And why not collaborate with uh, people that are not, you know, uh, so uh, used to incorporate technology in their workflow. And I really like that. Yeah, for me, it's, uh, it's a journey of about two years now. Um, and I thought when, when I became an insider that I was uh, quite late to uh, jump on the back bandwagon. But no, it was late. And even if you start now, you you will realize you 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 dive into uh, uh, an ocean of information, and you catch your fish, and you swim, and you become better and better and better. And one day you will uh, uh, cross the the channel from uh, uh, the Netherlands to uh, to to England uh, because you are so trained. It's it's really a, 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 an experience of growing, growing, growing. And I think I will go on for the rest of my life. And I met a lot of nice people. Uh, a few I know personally uh, here here uh, of the sixth one, and the other via. Uh, uh, online uh, uh, contacts, but it, it feels like one big family and a family of nice people, the people you, you choose yourself and um, and every, everyone is welcome as long as they behave a little bit, but uh, people can behave here, yeah, it's a very nice uh, community. So uh, if I'm going to talk about my experience with the community and with the summit, I'll start uh, when it was not the second day of the last summit. I was very frustrated because I was surrounded by really cool, really experienced people. And I felt like I'm very like late, just like Michael said, and how I can compete with all of these people. But then um, when I win the one year, uh, prize 
there in the tech forward community, everything changed because just like Zoe, Zoe said, it's all about the challenges. It's all about growth. And we're here all supporting each other. And when you really hear very useful tips and tricks from like the best of the best, like Michael, we kept talking for hours in the networking sessions about how to improve yourself and how to deal with our emotions in the booth. And I remember Ronnie Gao and I was keep asking him like things about how to turn my my language uh, from B to A and vice versa. And Zoe, when I kept asking her about Notion last summit, so the best thing here about the community that you really have a very experienced uh, professional group and everyone is helping. No one is just like going to tell you um, a misleading message or they're going to be arrogant about it. Um, I felt that when, when you're in a community, we grow together. So that's like my biggest takeaway, if I have to say, because uh, the summit last year changed my life because I thought I was very late and I cannot be the interpreter that I can. Yet I, since last year, I joined different practice groups I know from the summit, people I already knew. And I already find my one-on-one -on -one practice partner. So the summit actually was my biggest prize. So uh, you really need to consider about joining the Tech Forward community because you will have lots of bonuses. And moreover, you will have lots of help from Josh because we have the concept of the office hours where he dedicate a specific time to get our questions, to brainstorm together and to find new solutions and resources for how to help us. So I really recommend that. Thank you, everyone. It's so wonderful to have you in the community and to see how you're all learning from each other and helping each other and how, uh, I mean, th th these ideas, your your speakers at the summit now, uh, based on the conversations you've had and the exploration you've had and the ideas you've had, and so it's it's just really heartwarming for me to have you in the community. And I and I shout out to all of the other people who are watching and talking about being able to work through the learning paths at their own pace and being part of the community and being able to ask questions and um, chat. So. Um, my thank you very much for joining. My little um, special thing I wanted to say is first, what's coming up next for us? Um, the two weeks from now, I'm bringing AI back again. I've decided. I have been. Um, the, our last Insiders webinar was about AI um, for preparation uh, with a tool called Readwise, and I have been. I don't know where I found the time while running a summit, but I've been exploring how you can use Notion for AI for automatically generating glossaries, and so that will be back in two weeks. As always, it's a free webinar for anybody who joins live, and you get free access for 24 hours, just like the summit. But then after that, you will um, get uh, the insiders get access. So thank you to the insiders for joining us uh, live on screen for this little bit. And uh, yay, Anna, we'd love to have you on board. Cool. Um, the other, I just wanted to say we have to do, do, do um, the design your website challenge that I have been working on for a while is coming in late April, early May. So not that long from now, the challenges are lots of short little videos um, with a workbook to help you work on whatever it is. In this case, it'll be designing your website. There will be a co-working session to accompany that one. And then in April, I am announcing a special guest. I asked the LSP expert team to join us to talk about their tool, which is an awesome way to get your finances in order for translators and interpreters. And then in May, we'll have another round of office hours. So lots and lots of fun stuff coming up. Um, my little pitch is that we really try to keep insiders inexpensive. It's just 25 euros a month or 250 euros a year. So you get two months free. And if you join as an annual member in the next two weeks, so by the time we close this community, you also get either 50 euros tech forward credit to spend on any product for the next 12 months or a limited edition insiders water bottle or mug, kind of like this one, but it'll say insiders. Um, and oh, and students get in for free. If you're a student at a university, send me an email. 
with proof of proof of enrollment and you get in for free and everyone who has a power pack gets a free month so you can come along and check it out okay i think i'm done talking about that i mean i could talk about this forever let's do some prizes Exciting. Well, um, I just want to say congratulations uh, and thank you, Josh, for everything you do for the interpreting community worldwide. And uh, now we are ready to go and look at who won prizes. Who's feeling lucky? Let us know in the chat if you if you feel like there's a prize coming your way. It's possible that you won something. So um, this uh, yes, here come the prizes. And we're not, we decided we're not going to read out the whole thing because we are seeing it right there on the screen. So we just want to say congratulations to the winners of Audacity for Interpreters, five time saving shortcuts that to turbo, turbocharge your translation. That's a course by Josh. Uh, the Tablet Interpreting Manual, also by Josh. One free month in the Tech Forward Insiders. So do we have any winners in the call? Let us know and celebrate if you won. And then we also have How to Digitize Your Glossaries. That's a little course that uh, Josh and I put together. Basic Windows Audio Settings for RSI. That's one of my courses. The Interpreter's Guide to Audio and Video. That's uh, by Josh and Naomi Bowman, if I'm not mistaken, right? And then Take Dragon to the Next Level, that's by me. <laughs> um, and an Innovation in Interpreting Summit water bottle. And I wish I had mine here. You can imagine it out oh, there. Josh is showing it now. So congratulations to our winners who won these prizes. And we have more prizes on the next slide. And we have a Tech Forward course of your choice and if i may recommend the automation scores that's amazing <laughs> and um, four of them four winners of the oh there are four course of winners choice. yes 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 you can pick any of the amazing courses in tech forward and we have mind and body techniques for acute stress that's a course by sophie didn't we all love what sophie shared with us today well that's a whole course and then we have social media profile audits with Julia Poker. And so that is, that's just going to be amazing. And Notion training with Zoe. And uh, Josh was just convincing me yesterday of giving Notion another try because he's been playing with Notion and sending me messages to tease me about it. So now I want to learn all about Notion too. Then there is a one-year sketch engine license. If you watched Josh's amazing presentation at the summit, you will want to um, explore sketch engine. So congratulations to Jesse who won that. And we have two Capisco onboarding calls, also amazing. So we have two winners for that. Thank you, Capisco. And I'm just going to jump in to say yes? they're actually, we already gave away some of these prizes. Capisco gave us four onboarding calls. We've already awarded two of them. So we're just announcing the additional winners. There was actually the one two. other interpret bank uh, license and two other Jeremy licenses and maybe one other interpreter's help license, but we've already announced most right. of them. <laughs> so those prizes were already given away. These are the, but we still have more for today, right? So we have two more interpret bank uh, subscriptions. And in one of the calls earlier today, someone was asking about interpret bank. So I hope we have some of the winners interested there. Uh, a one-year Jeremy solo license, a year-long subscription to Interpreters Help, the professional plan, and a one-year LSP expert subscription. So congratulations to all of our winners. And well, let me just tell you that in my book, you're all winners because you were here at the summit. So, <laughs> but additional congratulations to these winners. But there's more. So we also have three winners of student scholarships. We announced the first two already, Kristen and Beth. But we have our third student scholarship winner, Sarah Passini. Congratulations on that as well. And finally, we have the last four uh, big scholarship prizes. These ones went out to people who were really actively participating in the community, who were always asking questions and uh, sharing with others, helping others to learn and grow together, really fostering this great sense of community. I have to say it was really, really difficult to pick the winners of these scholarships. There were something like 25 applications to go through. 
And um, I'm very excited to announce the winners of the four Tech Forward scholarships. So Eleonora, you've won our iPads for Interpreter's Ultimate Guide. That's four different courses on how you can use your iPad for interpreting, for preparation, for consecutive in the booth and for productivity. Stephanie, you have won our Glossaries for Interpreter's 2.0 course, all about terminology. Natalia has won our Easy Automations for Non-Programmers course. That's the one that Nora and I just ran a month ago. It's a ton of fun. And we uh, have been talking to people who are using it to save time. And finally, congratulations to Louis Ching, who has won a year in the Tech Forward Insiders community. So congratulations to you all. And I see many of you are uh, celebrating live that you won prizes, Christina and Paola and Veronica and, and perhaps a couple others there too. So congratulations to you all on your prizes. And again, one more shout out to our wonderful sponsors for donating these prizes to our sponsors and our speakers, because um, yeah, you make events like this happen. So um, check out their amazing tools. Okay, and I think it's time for your special surprise, Nora. It is. Well, you know how I've been telling everybody not to blink <laughs> the whole summit? <laughs> well, here comes another opportunity not to blink. Okay, so let me see if I can get this going the right way. Uh, I think I, I know what I need to do just so that I can start... Um, running it and showing it right away. So here it comes and I'm going to turn off my camera so that you can see it full screen. And just um, Josh, maybe give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen there. Yes. Okay, it's black for now. But oh no, yes, no, no, but actually, you, we've got we've I'm got sharing, your notes. I'm sharing the wrong <laughs> screen. Of course, of course. Okay, new share. Happens this to is. the pros too. <laughs> Here it is. And now you should be seeing just the blank. Um let me make sure that I'm sharing sound. I don't want to mess that up. Okay. Some so of you might not know this, but Nora actually has three screens she works with. All right, here it is.
And that's it. I hope you liked it. Did everybody catch the big reveal at the end? <laughs> there it is. We have found the dates already, and we're excited to announce that the 2024 Innovation in Interpreting Summit will be the same week next year, March 5th to 7th. So put that in your calendars already. We had so much fun doing this one that we've already uh, picked the dates for the next one. And we're very excited to see you all there. So Josh, I'm just loving the comments that people are putting there in the chat. And just to tell everybody this uh, video, because uh, in case you want to have it, we're going to post it on the community and also to the YouTube channel. Right, Josh? Yes, 100%. It will be in the community. It'll be in the YouTube channel. It'll be in the email you get tomorrow as well. So you can watch it again. But we'll get it up in the community and on the YouTube channel even before then so you can watch it. I have to say I was really wowed by how many colleagues went to the photo booth and snapped these amazing photos this year. Um, I had been watching the badges, but not really watch on social media, but not really watching the photos in the photo booth. And they're, they're truly wonderful. So now is the time to start wrapping up. First of all, we would really love your feedback. So we have a survey, which I've just pasted the link to in the chat. That was a bit of a tortured sentence. Um, I've just pasted the link to the survey in the chat, and we would love it if you could take a few minutes to share some feedback with us. We'll, If you um, share meaningful feedback by Friday of next week, you'll have a chance to win one of our final summit prizes. We've got three people who will win 25 euros tech forward credit, which believe it or not, will get you either a month in the insiders or either of our eBooks or Nora and I's mini course or both of my nine euro courses together. So that's the Audacity for Interpreters course and the um, five shortcuts course. So, uh, but that's not really what it's about. We would just love to get your feedback. We're constantly trying to improve and to make these experiences even more together, as one of you is saying, even more of a wonderful global experience for the interpreting community. So please, um, if you haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube right now if you're watching on YouTube. Please don't hesitate to say hello on social media at any point. You'll find me at Tech Forward, and you'll find Nora at Nora Diaz B or her company, Academia CLP, uh, as well. And it's now time to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to so many people who've made this event possible. First of all, I have to say a huge thank you to Roxanne. Roxanne is our assistant. Uh, she's been working with Tech Forward for two years now. She's a talented photographer and a designer in her own right, and she is a translator and interpreter, and she has been helping to make all of the stuff that happens behind the scenes happen. We could not have the summit without her. All of the graphics all of the getting the videos uploaded and in the right places and making the summit community pieces work and all of the posts and most of the social media are all Roxanne's work. So I am just incredibly lucky to, um, I think we're all incredibly lucky to have Roxanne helping us to make this event a reality. I'd also like to thank our speakers. Wow, <laughs> the presentations were so, so incredible this year. Um, we know just how much time you put into them. And we, we really appreciate your sharing your knowledge with the interpreting community and helping so many people to learn and grow. And I think it's time to also say thank you to our special guests who joined us today. And thank you, Zoe, Michael, Carmelo, and Mena for hopping on this call and sharing your experience. Thank you to all of 
the people who have inspired us. And yeah, well, you can join us for the toast. Um, it's time for our toast. So why don't you join? I'm not very well prepared for the toast this time, but hey, it's only 2 p.m. here. <laughs> I'm actually prepared for the first time ever. Um, oh. I, yes. Um, and I love the mug, uh, Zoya. That's great. Yes. Um, uh, so let's do the toast and then I get to say thank you to you, Nora. Um, who, would, who wants to give the toast? Nora, would you like to give the toast? Oh my God, I don't think I'm very good at this, but uh, let's toast to um, thank everyone who was here this year to hoping that we stay in touch throughout the year and that we'll see you again in 2024. So here's to all the wonderful interpreters who made this event possible. Here, here. Vodka. No, water. <laughs> Boring. Water starts also with a W. Mm -hmm. And um, Nora, thanks for joining me on this crazy ride of running. Um, this is our fourth summit together. Um, and it has been another wonderful one. So thank you for all the wonderful ideas and for making this fun. Thank you, Josh. And, and thank you for being an inspiration uh, to all of us and for inviting me to be your partner in crime in organizing this summit, for always saying yes to the crazy WhatsApp ideas that I send you and, and for considering every little thing. Um, so thank you again for another wonderful summit, for another wonderful experience, and for the opportunity to get in touch with so many wonderful people from all over the world. All right, everyone. That's it. I think it's a wrap on the 20. 23 Innovation in Interpreting Summit. We will see you all next year. Well, we'll see you before then, but we look forward to seeing you at the next summit in 2024 and at many more exciting events in the meantime. Bye, everyone. Thank you all.